In this YouTube video, I'm going to show you how to connect and sync Salesforce to Outlook. So in Salesforce, you go up to the gear here and you click Setup. And then under Email, you select Outlook Integration and Sync. You check this box and then you click this triangle here. And then you check this box, use Enhanced Email with Outlook. And then you basically click here, activate and notify reps, select edit, check this active box, click save, and then within Outlook, you open up your Outlook, and you go to get add-ins, and you search Salesforce, and you'll see an add-in called Salesforce, and then you basically click add next to it and then it'll download and you'll see it in your ribbon up here you can expand your ribbon so it'll be grayed out but then if you open up an email or use highlight an email like I'll highlight this stocktwits email for example you click view and it'll actually prompt you to log in the first time and Basically, you just uh, type in your. You type in how you log into your browser on here, and then it'll send you a verification email, and you basically open up your verification email, and you confirm that you're connected to the proper Salesforce thing. I'll show you like how to configure that in a little bit uh, but basically I'm logged into my add-in right now so I'm just gonna like walk you through the add-in real quick and then I'll also go over like other functionalities with Outlook integration and Salesforce that includes cases for support desks uh, so for now I'm just gonna go over like the basics of the Salesforce add-in and so under tasks you can check your task here and you could check it off you could finish tasks and change the statuses uh, you could press the plus button up here and you can create a new event a new task a new contact new case etc from here and then also like whenever you highlight an email, like any of the email contacts in there, you could click there and it'll add them as a contact to Salesforce. And it'll appear within your browser in Salesforce because this is linked to my actual Salesforce profile. And then when you create a new email, so I'll just do an email to this person and then I'll click view. You could actually log an email on send and like I could log it to an account. So I'll type like account one 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 one. And then if you click save here, you actually have like a it'll give you like an error. And to go around that you basically go up here into Salesforce and you go to your profile, you select settings. You go to email, my email to Salesforce, and you fill out your email address here. So this is like my Outlook uh, email address that is within this Outlook here. So I'm sending it from Outlook in this case. And you basically fill that out there. And then you, you click Save here. And this is uh, the Outlook email. So now you won't have an issue when you're logging the email. So 
right now I'm going to send an email to account one and the subject is going to be 200 a lot of twos and I'm going to click send and then if I go over to accounts within Salesforce and I view the accounts I'll go to account one You actually have to click save and then click send. So I just sent that email and now let me go to my accounts, account one. So here is this email, 703. So it shows up in the activity. So you could log it when you send it from a separate email address. And now I'm going to show you something more advanced with uh, cases. So cases is kind of like the support desk section of Salesforce. If you have like a technology desk and you have to keep track of a lot of interactions and record cases. Uh, so a case is a record of a customer service inquiry and you can make it from the case page or from the contacts page. So you click new on the cases page and fill out like the contacts the status, a case origin, or whether it's from an email, phone, and then you can fill out like a subject and a description and comments. And as the case progresses, let me just open up this case. It goes from new, open, pending, etc. So there are different uh, stages of a case. And you could also go to contacts and open up contact and click case. And you could create a case from your contacts if you just want to create a case and then like search up a contact like just search up like contacts up here and then type in a contact and then um, you could create a case underneath them but that's like basic cases but now I'm going to show you how to uh, sync up your Salesforce email with Outlook uh, for cases and you'll basically send an email from like the case page here as a response to the people and it'll switch your email address to be the Salesforce email address and the cases will update from uh, like this close blue circle means new and then when it's pending in purple that means you responded to the case and when it says open here that means they responded to your email and then when you respond it'll go to pending and then uh, you could close the case if it's done so you could kind of track how like the email interactions are going and you could respond uh, live as the emails come in and with email to case um, it automatically changes statuses based on the emails and you don't have to do anything so I'm going to show you how to do that now so go to setup and then here you type email to case with hyphens in between the words. You click that and you press continue. And you select edit and you check enable email to case. And click save. There are other options here. So I'm going to click save. And then down here under routing addresses, you click edit. And for your routing name, you could enter whatever you want. I just have case router there. And then for your email address, you basically uh, copy in your Salesforce email. Uh, so you copy that up to here. And then for the case owner, whoever you want to get assigned the cases, you could select a queue or a user. And then you could set the priority and the origin. So I have this set up. Now I'm gonna click save here. And
now that um, and now I'm going to go to um, my profile and click settings and I'm going to select email and I'm going to select my email settings and then here you also paste in the Salesforce email for the email address and then would you like to automatically BCC emails to your return address click yes and then for here you could just type in whatever the name you want to appear when you send an email from your cases page and then you click save and now on now that you did that on your cases page um, here's like the routing address so I'm gonna open up this case so basically it says we receive your following request to change your Salesforce email routing address and here's the routing name was case router so here's the new email routing address which is your Salesforce email and then to confirm this email routing address you click this link so you click right here and then it'll uh, confirm it'll say like uh, it'll give you like a message like confirmed and from like the router um, and let me go to the cases so for let me go to like the other one so that we just confirm like the router one but then you get like another case for finish changing your Salesforce accounts outgoing email address and so now when you're sending an email from the cases it'll be from the Salesforce email and you click here to verify so now both of those verifications are done so now I'm going to uh, I guess go to this open case right here case one and it looks like this email just they wrote reply back to me so I'm going to uh, click reply and for the from it just puts Brian Nolo which is here on um, you can select your profile and you go to settings and then you go to email and my email settings and so it shows as uh, this name here and then it's actually from my Salesforce email address there. So, um, and then I'm just replying to this person. I'm just gonna write like 111 here and then scroll down here and click send and then go to cases. So now that switched to pending because I responded to them. And then when that person responds to me, it'll actually switch this pending back to this open circle. I'm not going to do that right now, but now that is synced um, because we had finished all this stuff. Let me go to I'll do like a new kind of email. So I'll go to like contacts and fake name and I'll email fake name and VBA tutorial code.com at outlook.com and subject would be like this and I'll click send. So now when you send an email from your contacts it automatically creates a new case also. So now you go over here and I, I sent, I uh, created a new case because I just sent an email to a contact from the contact tab and it automatically ca creates a, cre a case and it assigns it to Brian Olo because that was the user I selected on And, uh, let me go to setup and what was it email to case so I'm gonna click email to case continue 
So the the default user I did was Brian Nola. So this user automatically gets assigned the case when you email someone from the contacts and then it'll create a case and it'll, yeah. So now I got, let's see what this case is. Is that, it's that, is that new? Cause I just created the case when I emailed the contact from Salesforce. So and the email will be that email. It'll be new. And the case origin is going to be email. And the subject is going to be hello. And the description is going to be hello. So I'm going to click save. And then I'm going to email. And click send. I got this email. I'm going to click reply. That's my reply. And they got the reply in now. Yeah, so now that works. They got like the open circle there. So now when I reply to the, to my email, be like reply back. And I'll click send takes like a second, I guess, to update and go to cases. Now it's switched to pending because I responded. So I'll go over here and I'll say like reply back from Gmail. Now I'll refresh my cases. So now I got the reply back from Gmail. So that's uh, how that works um, with like syncing. And now like every time I send an email from my contacts, it creates a new case. And then once they respond, then it'll update like the, the case status and yeah, that's basically how this entire thing works, and thanks for watching my video.